You're looking for an adventure class B, but maybe you want it on a shorter wheelbase. Still want 4x4 on the Mercedes chassis. The Airstream name, well, that's good because they just came out with it. Let's take a look. So this is the all-new 2024 Airstream 19X-E. The E being for electric, X of course the extreme, which is the adventure side of the Class B line on Airstream. Um, and that's exactly what we have here, right? It is an adventure trailer, an adventure motorhome at its core. And you can really start to see that in all of the channel systems you have. So, you know, this is built for bringing kayaks, bikes, um, you know, whatever else you, long boards, long skis, whatever else you want to be able to bring, this has the ability to do it, especially in this floor plan. What you will notice is from the back, all, all the way up to the front, this is completely open. So again, you can fit a smaller kayak in here on its side. And you have full versatility in how you want to tie things down. Because not only do you have the channels on the floor, you also have channel systems right here behind the seating, and you have additional ones right up here on the ceiling. So, you know, these storage bins up here are completely removable. If you wanna take these out, you can do so. Again, just nice, easy, universal clip-in system. Uh, you know, again, works great, super simple, and you can get them basically anywhere. So, uh, just the, the versatility you have here is great. Again, more channel system uh, right underneath. At its core, that's what it is. But what else? Well, it's still a class B, and it's a fully functional one at that. You need a place to sleep, you have it right back here. This drops down into a queen size bed. To make it into a bed, you will have these rails. The rest of them are actually tucked underneath this seat. I'll show you some of the underneath storage. Super simple and easy to do though. You're just going to lift up on this side like so. Do the same on the other side. We'll do that all the way down the backs of these cushions are hard so you'll fill in the center with those cushions and you'll be good to go very easy to convert it into a bed we look at some of the storage underneath i mean i'll start over here look at this you have nice pull out drawer tucked away there slow close love that spot for a table you have a couple different spots so you can hook up a table in here as well uh, a lot of storage like you know again some hidden storage right here access to our Volta system right there, right behind that. This storage, let me open this one up. I just want to show you this is where they have all the rail stored right there. So again, just a you know, nice, easy, convenient spot, super simple to uh, get to and access. So obviously this one can have lithium in it. So if you're looking for lithium batteries, that, this one uh, is able to be equipped with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you have a couple of generator options. You can get the onboard generator or you can get the underhood alternator. Uh, so that way, you know, you kind of use the coach to recharge everything. You also have solar. It is 250 watts of solar up on the roof. 200 watts is for the house portion. 50 watts is to make sure the chassis battery stays topped off. So when you're out there on your adventures, you don't have a dead coach. Microwave right up top. Take a look underneath. Couple cool things here. One, the Truma system. Why Truma? Well, A, it's easier to fit into a class B. Uh, B, the other thing that's really nice about it is the fact that um, because we don't have any propane on this one, this one is propaneless, hence the dash E that you are able to use that to heat up your hot water. You also have the multiplex control systems, a few different controls. I have one here. I have another one right up here. So that way you can control lights, everything else you need to, super simple and easily. You can see your battery control right there. Uh, you do have some fixed overhead storage, so we can see that. Take a look there. So again, that is our, uh, our Volta system right there. So, um, you know, you can, again, have quick and easy access to that. Up top, kind of that Airstream look, right? You have the, the aluminum with the rivets, kind of have like a little light portholes right there. A, the AC system is in here as well, plus you have the max air fan. In case you don't want to run the AC, you can really still get some great circulation. Countertops, I really like. They kind of have like this red uh, that lights up, just kind of a nice little touch. Sink over here to the side. Um, again, even though you don't have propane, you do still have a cooktop because tucked away right here is your induction cooktop. So you can pull that out, plug it in, and be able to cook right here. I kind of like the window system that they have going on here as well. This is actually pretty cool uh, because you, it kind of allows you to open and close, right? So right here, I can, I can open this up if I want separately from the door itself. So you kind of have this window. 
Uh, the other nice thing about it is if you want to hand stuff out, like, you know, maybe you're uh, in here cooking, prepping food, you want to use it as like a concession window, you can kind of utilize it as that uh, as well. Here's one of the big things that really separate it from a lot of your adventure class Bs. Most of them, right, are just going to have a cassette toilet. Take a look at this. You actually have a full wet bath in here. You have a black tank, you have the gray tank, you have a space to actually be able to get in here and shower. And I will step in just to give you an idea. I mean, I am six foot tall and you can see I can almost stand all the way up. That's pretty darn good for being a wet bath, uh, especially in a class B. If I take a seat on the toilet again with that door shut, I mean, I actually have pretty good space. Um, especially given the fact that we are in an adventure trailer in a class B. I think they did a, an excellent job. You will see the clothesline here, so you can bring that across so that if you want to uh, hang clothes up, you know, you have anything that's wet, nice and easy to take care of that. Vent fan up top there, there also is a mirror. Lastly, if we take a look up front at the chassis real quick before we head outside, uh, this one is on the Mercedes-Benz 2500 uh, short chassis. Look at 144 inch wheelbase on here. This particular one is that we are looking at is still the four wheel drive uh, six cylinder. But as we know, Mercedes is going to be moving to the four cylinder all wheel drive. And I think it starts at about 10,000 more than this particular build does. The thing I do like about Airstream on their Class Bs, though, is they buy the best Mercedes chassis out there. People don't realize this, but as an RV manufacturer, you can buy different chassis that have different safety options, and this one has absolutely everything. You're looking at lane assist, you're looking at um, collision uh, prevention, it will have automatic rain sensing wipers, everything you would want in a chassis, this one has. All right, speaking of chassis, let's go take a look outside. All right, so as previously mentioned, this one is on the Mercedes-Benz 2500 chassis with 144 inch wheelbase. This one is the four wheel drive. Uh, and as mentioned, this one has the V6 diesel in it. So that may change going forward, but that is our current build. Something I like just right out the gate when you look at the front end, it just has that adventurous look to it due to a few things. One will be essentially, I like to call it the truck liner that you have right on front here, kind of going down the side. You can call it the Rhino liner, rock art, whatever you want to call it, but it is extremely durable and gives it a great look. You also have the brush guard with a couple lights on there as well, help light up the trail as you are traveling at night. Obviously, because it is the four wheel drive, we get a little bit more ground clearance. It's lifted a little bit and that gives it a, a much better look. Plus, of course, the four wheel drive capability, beautiful uh, uh, wheels on there as well. I like the fact they are blacked out to kind of match what we have going on with the rest of the coach. Right down below, you will also see the OWL running board, which makes it nice and easy to climb up into the coach, just giving you that additional grip. And again, just looks rugged. You don't have to worry about it breaking off. You hit something while going down the trail. You'll see your gravity fill for the fresh tank will be located there. And uh, as previously mentioned, uh, this one does have all three tanks, fresh gray and black. You'll also notice this right here. That is for your JBL speaker that does come with it. So you have a portable Bluetooth speaker. So you wanna be able to bring that outside you know, sit underneath the power awning with the lights on at night, play a little bit of music. It is easy to do that. Coming around to the back side, just a couple quick things I do want to hit on. One is going to be the hitch. You're looking at a 5,000 pound hitch on there. So that way you have uh, some towability behind you, whether that's a boat, uh, golf cart, trailer with uh, just, you know, whatever else you need to be able to bring with you. Backup camera right up top and coming around over to the off camp side. This will be your power fill. You have the smart plug, which is a little bit different plug in there. Uh, it's positive locking system, has a light so you know if it's charging or not. Some additional solar capability. If you want more than the 250 uh, that comes on it. Uh, this is your, uh, of course, the vent for the Truma system. This is the control for the macerator pump. So your macerator pump is located right there. As I mentioned, it does have the black tank with the macerator built in and of course the outside shower. So if you need to wash off to, uh, you know, before you head inside, you can do that. And you have another running board on this side. Folks, this is just an awesome entry into, just kind of fills out that line that Airstream has for their adventure class Bs. A little bit shorter. You're still getting that four wheel drive or off wheel drive 
drive possibly in the future. You have all the tie downs, all the connections you need. If you don't want something quite as big, you want something a little more maneuverable, a little bit easier to get around in, this one right here is the one. Now, if you're looking for price and availability, that's not a problem. I will put a link in the description. You can click on that. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.